I suppose if political means fail us, public organization and public pressure, if those don't do what has to be done, then, then we'll be driven to more extreme defensive measures in defending our mother earth. Here in the United States, I can see a lot more acts of civil disobedience beginning to occur. Bulldozers and the drilling rigs attempt to move into the wilderness, into the backcountry and the farmlands. And if civil disobedience is not enough, I imagine there will be sabotage. Violence against machinery property. Violence against machinery property. Those are pretty desperate measures. That becomes widespread and could be that battle has already been lost. I don't know what would happen beyond that. That might possibly stimulate some sort of police state reaction. military industrial dictatorship in this country. But still, personally, I feel, when all other means fail, as a last resort, we are morally justified, not really justified, but morally obligated, to defend that which we love by whatever means are available. I wouldn't hesitate to use violence, hesitate to use violence by the same principle. Land I love has been violated, raped, plundered, murdered. And all political means to save the fail. I personally feel that sabotage is well justified. At least if it does any good, if it will help, if it will only help you to feel good. The distinction seems to be clear and simple to me. Sabotage is an act of force and violence against property or machinery. Life is not endangered. Terrorism, on the other hand, is violence against living things. That kind of terrorism is generally practiced by governments against their own people. There's that kind of terrorism going on right now in parts of Latin America, Guatemala, El Salvador, quite recently in Argentina, Chile, a mild form of it in Poland in the past year. The Soviets are committing terrorism against the people of Afghanistan right now, with limited success, I'm happy to hear. Our government committed great acts of terrorism against people in Vietnam. That's what terrorism means to me. Violence, a threat of violence against human beings and other forms of life. That seems quite different, radically different from sabotage, which is a much more limited tactic. I'd go so far as to say that a bulldozer tearing up a hillside, ripping out trees for the purpose of a logging operation or a strip mine is committing a kind of terrorism against life. Jesus, it's getting heavier and heavier. <laughs> Can't we think of something funny to talk about? What are we going to do about sex life? <laughs> <laughs> What's the history of your sex life? <laughs> there will now be a five-minute silence.